Hi there, I've got a lot of data here, a lot of points that are uh, randomly generated uh, just around London in the, in the UK. The, um, uh, they're, they're just a single style, you can see just, just, just loads of dots. Uh, there's my layer, random points. And what I'd like to do is create a heat map to show the sort of density um, where there's clumps of, of this data. So you can see around this sort of area, for example, what's that Canning Town? Um, there's a sort of clump there. And um, uh, and I want to sort of highlight those that sort of density is there's one, one there as well. So we could um, I'd like them to glow from the map, and and that's what a heat map it, it, it does literally sort of hot and cold where the data heats up. So I'm going to double click on random point. I'm going to select from this drop down list at the top in symbology. Go from single single symbol to heat map. I want a, a sort of glowy type. Mag I'm going to select this sort of symbology, Magma, which is the built in one. So it goes from dark, i.e., virtually zero or no data, um, all the way up to this glowing, sort of yellowy color. You can create your own color ramps. I've actually done a, um, a um, video on that previously. Um, that, there it is, actually, from a previous video, my new color ramp. Um, but you know, there's some built in and, and go for it. And if you go to all color ramps, there's probably a selection that will work for you. Uh, I'm just going to accept the default radius and stuff. I uh, don't really care I'm, because I want to show you the effects of this um, heat map. Um, and I want to show you how, how to change the parameters. So you can see here, I've got um, some pretty good uh, sort of hot spots. You see these sort of four really. There, it's quite, quite sort of clear. That's pretty good, but not particularly usable. Looks like a picture of, from the Hubble Space Telescope or something. So let, let's sort of tidy this up. Well, especially as we, we have our map underneath. So one way, you can, a way to do that is to get rid of all this uh, black sort of no data, low data type um, information. So if you actually click on the color ramp itself, you can see we've got all the sort of gradient stops, which we can um, do something about sort of individually. We can click on these and, and change them um, to whatever color we, we like to make it highlight. Um, or you see I've got this option here where the, 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 that color one, which is the black, where it's starting from, I can just set that to transparent. Press OK and press OK. And now it's got rid of all that sort of outer um, data that was, you know, I, I didn't need, I, I wasn't after. So I can sort of start to see the map. But I'd, I'd like to sort of make it still more user user friendly i mean i can't really see what's under the map still there's still some sort of black outlines here so let's first of all go in here and let's set the um, on symbology if you click on layer rendering down here on the bottom let's click on opacity and just make us see through it a bit you see so i've done that and now with opacity i can ch i'm changing the this value and I can see through it. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, the dark areas are showing data. Um, and if I wanted to, I could still trim that a bit more, but it does show this sort of extent of the data. So you may want to keep it. Um, but if you really wanted to trim it a bit more, we could make some slight alterations here. And, um, and we could um, sort of click on a, uh, a stop point here and change the opacity for that uh, stop, press OK, apply, and you see how it sort of reduced a bit. Uh, and you could sort of do that to each one if you wanted and, and gradually um, sort of tidy up the view that you want. And that's one way of doing it, there's a few others, um, but th this is pretty good. We've got our uh, glowy spot, hot spots. You see there's, there it is in Canning Town, just as I sort of we said originally. So it's a good overview. I might even make that transparency greater see it see through it even more really I think we can get away with that's, uh, that's pretty good actually um, we could really up the rendering here I think I can change that there you go change it to best and when you do that It'll look a lot better, a lot smoother, sort of anti-aliasing and stuff like that. But of course, there's some bit of serious processing power going on there. Um, and it probably um, 
you know, well, may just draw slightly um, slower. Did you see the, the sort of pause there as it, it was as it was drawing? Um, uh, but you know, if you have got a half decent PC, the one I'm using here, it's pretty good. So you can set the rendering quality um, to what you what what you sort of like. Let's change it up to fastest, and you'll you'll see what I mean. You see how it's the aliasing, and it's gonna it's gonna draw pretty pretty quick. Um, but you know, that's why it's usually set to about halfway. But it's up to you. Anyway, I hope you find that's that's uh, useful, and um, thanks for watching.